I've been here since I was 16. And how old are you now? I'm 52. 52. This is Rootsman. I met him during my first week on Kikokker in Belize. Originally a fisherman, now he makes a living as an artist. During my time with him, I noticed that there was a certain level of respect that people gave him. So I asked him what that was rooted in. It's in the clean living, you know, the, the righteousness. When you live your life clean, people appreciate it, you know. For me, I see God in everybody. So I try to find that part of them. Because I know it's in there somewhere. You just have to find a way to get it out. And when you have a confrontation, you cannot participate and play the part of the, of the enemy. Because then that's where the conflict comes in. So you have to find that, that middle ground where you can have a, a relationship. Although fishing isn't his main source of income anymore, sailing is a prominent part of his day-to-day -day life. This sailboat is the third sailboat he built out of scraps of debris that drift onto his beach. How long did you say it took to get to this point? This one, I started it like a year ago. This is the upgraded version. <laughs> what, what's the upgrade? pontoon and the mass because the other ones were like bamboo and mangrove sticks. The next step is to get some fiberglass and seal her up. I'll be able to cut better because the, the ropes I have on the bottom that hold the, everything together they are slowing me down but that's what I got to deal with for now. Not that bad though. Although he doesn't make a living from fishing anymore, his stories about hand fishing in the waters of Belize made me want to experience it myself. So I asked him if he would take the time to show me how he used to go fishing. He agreed. The next day, we gathered some supplies and sailed out into the ocean in his handmade sailboat. Rootsman and I shared many conversations on our way out to sea. Our conversation about health in particular stood out to me. I believe in prevention rather than cure, you know. That's why I drink my herbs almost every day because I don't want, I don't want to get sick. I don't want to wait till I get sick to have to go try to get healed, you know. So, and I believe the food is part of that. The food is the medicine. If you eat the right food, then you have good health. People who are living in poverty, they can't get the right food. So they don't, they can't function properly. Mm. They see things in a different way. And it's, it's not helpful. It hurts the environment, it hurts themselves. They're obsessed with this processed food. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's easy and quick. And that's what's the, that's the mistake. Because then you suffer it later on. Because when you're ready to retire, you're practically dying. You end up in the hospital, the doctor's taking parts of you out, and you don't know what's going on. This world is a circle. It's like whatever you do comes back to you. Even as a fisherman, I've seen it. So if you're catching fish every day, and you're slaughtering them every day, expect something like that to happen to you. <laughs> You know, so all the fishermen I know end up having to have some kind of issue. 
but you could still have a business and not do so much destruction you know so you have to be aware of it mm -hmm. and a lot of people are just thinking about themselves you know if you're gonna fish you have to think about the next generation and the next generation down the line if you catch all the fish now they won't be done later so stuff like that you know if the fish is too small you throw it back but some people when they're hungry they don't care right you just gotta eat and that's that's also another illusion you know because you don't need to eat every day all the time <laughs> how often do you fast well every week on Saturdays I fast full day yeah and then during the week it depends I might take another day during the week like Wednesday and fast and what do you eat when you do eat but we eat a lot of vegetables that's for sure a lot of vegetables ground food beans coconuts and a lot of nuts mm. nuts good for the brain so if there's one piece of advice you'd give to a younger generation right now what would it be I would tell them to look for what is real because everything is so like fake. There's everything you could find fake everything now. <laughs> you know, like even food, like fake food. It's like but if you're not aware, you're gonna eat it, you know. If you don't know. Like you shouldn't eat no, no packaged food. Nothing that comes from a factory you should eat because it's processed. If you come from a tree, yeah, because you could walk right up to a tree and pick it and eat it. Rootsman showed me an organic way of looking at life. It's not about how much you have, but it's about how you make what you already have last. And his ability to never be in a rush, but instead staying focused on what needs to be done was a refreshing pace that is hard to encounter in more modern societies where everything seems to be better if it's faster. Spending time with Rootsman definitely recalibrated the pace at which I wanted to live because life isn't a race. Unfortunately, I recently got the news that Rootsman's girlfriend, Deborah, suffered a stroke. And as you can see, there aren't a lot of resources where they are. And they're really having a rough time right now. Now, there's only so much I can do as an individual, but I was sent a GoFundMe link. So if you can help them out, I'm sure they will appreciate it. <laughs>